Hello, guys. I am thinking this morning, it's um, Monday morning, and it was a great time to get on with you guys and share something really fun today. I love just stroking with you, coming up with creative ideas, and love hearing you guys come on and tell me what you think. All right. So I am waiting to see if anybody shows up. If not, I will paint anyway. I think one person just showed up. That's a good sign. And I am waiting to see you guys say something. Oh, 19. So that's pretty good. Real quick this morning. I am Donna Dewberry, the creator of my one stroke, folk art one stroke painting technique, where I teach you with this technique, step by step by steps to make it possible for anybody to learn how to paint. So we're using strokes from centuries ago where you're multi-loading the brush. Usually they only loaded with two colors way back when. And I'm multi-loading and doing amazing different things with stroke work. And so stroke works have been around forever and a lot in, in China and Asian countries and in Mexico. I have some pottery, my mom and dad. Um, I grew up seeing these strokes and Fenton Glass has been doing it for hundreds of years. So it's really nice to share with you. Uh, I've been trying to paint more than just landscapes and you make it seem so easy. Thank you. Uh, Tanjar, Tandra. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but thank you. Good morning to everybody. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. And many of you from other countries. Hey, Miss Peggy. Um, you've been with me for 15 years. Yay, yay. Uh, been a student for 15 years. Okay. I was going to start saying maybe you're teaching for 15 years. Um, hi, Miss Cindy and Thelma. Thank you. Thelma's in Texas. It's good to see you guys come on. Um, I do a lot of this myself. Um, thank you. I've had so many people say that they really like the way I explain it. And um, you do get some people that say, ma'am, stop talking. We just want to see painting. And so I like it when y'all come on and say, yeah, talk to us. Um, you love the big flowers behind me and that kind of fun. That's, that's the first oversize I ever painted. And um, it's 40 by 60. And I, I could barely get in my car to get it home. I had to get my husband bring it in the truck. And it was at Michael's. But I have to tell you, getting that big canvas and um, painting it was so much fun. And I have to tell you that, hello from the UK. Uh, you need to tell me your name sometime if you're not David. It's David's hair design. But if you're not David, tell me who you are. Um, I wondered sometime. But I have to tell you, I've taught hundreds of people around the country, around the world to paint oversized now. And it's really fun. And it's easier because it's bigger. Is that crazy? It is easier because it's bigger. Um, thank you for following. I appreciate that. Um, and you have my guides right there at home with you. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys know, but I have um, I have stroke um, teaching guides that, that some are laminated, some are in a plastic sleeve, and you practice right with me. So if you go to onestroke.com, O-N-E stroke.com, then you can see a multitude of them that I have available. So they're called um, the their packets, and in the packets I have stroke work, and then you you uh, stroke right on my plastic, wipe it off on the sleeve that it's in. So it makes it kind of nice. Hi, hello, Miss Janet. Um, the canvases are my favorite. All right, COVID. I am a hairdresser. My salon name is David's Hair Design. David, you are. Hello. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate that. Um, we have some a lot of men that come in that used to do landscapes and they wanted to do flowers. So I teach flowers a lot. Um, so I appreciate you guys coming on. Yes, thank you, Mary. That does make a difference when you have the strokes. But I just wanted to give you a little commercial before we start painting that on my re relax and paint is in the mornings where <sighs> I'm making you relax and talk quiet and have a peaceful morning with you. And then I'm hoping that you'll get some paints and supplies together and come back and watch it again and paint with me. 
And then um, on Fridays, I do pra practice drugs because so many of you said, ma'am, where do I even start? And I like the thumbs up. Thank you. Where do I even start? Because they didn't know how to start. So um, yeah, my, my brushes are good. They last really long. It depends on how well you keep them clean and all and let, and how often you leave them in the water overnight. I'll paint and run and leave them and I get them all nasty and not nice. So I know I've tried going through wiping them with alcohol. So the handles are always perfect, but I paint so much. I you, you like the way I have excuses. <laughs> I paint so much that I, um, hello from Ontario, um, that I, uh, I'm not very good about cleaning them, but I want you to be good about it. So your brushes last. All right. So I am a mom of seven kids. So I always say, do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> So I love doing the painting and share with you guys, but please, please go see my relax and paint and check out my practice strokes because I give you homework. They're only like about 10 minutes long and I give you homework and you practice. And then we hope that you come on our Facebook group. Uh, the Facebook group is Donna Dewberry's with an S Ottawa, Ottawa. Uh, Hello, hello, and I love hearing you guys. I love seeing what you guys like. You're from India. Thank you. Um, how can I get folk art colors? You know what, guys? We sell to any country that lets you ship in from America. Some don't, but we do. Dewberries do ship to you guys, but um, it just takes longer and it is unfortunately more money than if we're shipping in the US. So we have to give you the difference in the shipping price, but we do USPS, the postal service. Hello, hello. Um, and so we will ship you. Um, paint is a, a nightmare right now in the US because of COVID. I don't know when you guys will watch this in the future. But we, we do have many, many colors that we can ship to you. And every once in a while, there might be a color that we don't have uh, because of the COVID and what's going on at the paint companies and supply and paint. But we have lots of paintbrushes. I have two lines of my paintbrushes. I have a um, um, good, better, best. I have some better ones that have the green handle that I've had forever. And they last really good. And then I have the signature brushes that are a little bit more money, but they're also better ferrules and better bristles. So listen, I want you to start painting. So the best set of brushes is my 1059 value pack. Cause then that way you can start inexpensively. If you're a seasoned painter, go jump in and get my signature brushes. Um, Cause they're really high quality. Uh, how much? All right. I'm learning so much from your videos. Thank you. I love sharing those with you. Um, and you found me on YouTube. You're an OSCI. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so let's get going painting. I've already used eight minutes just visiting. I'd really like to, uh, for you guys to be happy. I'm from Virginia. Love, 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 relax and paint. Yay. Uh, I'm at work, but I watch them anyway. <laughs> Don't get in trouble at work. Okay. And if you can't watch them in the mornings, then come back and watch this later at night. Um, so I love it when you share with me what you want to see. Now, I don't know if I've got this straight, but if I don't get to read all of these, unfortunately, some of it goes away. So you might have to repost something later when we put it on, when we, when I hit live or I end it and it goes on YouTube. I'm not very techy, but I do know how to paint and I do know how to show you how to paint. So you want to get started? I am painting on something different today. I am painting on this mixed media. I'm going to turn it the other way. So maybe, no, it's still going to be backwards. I don't know why. All right, I got to mix up, uh, fix something so it's not. This is Stratford, no, Stratmore. It's, um, you know, just the pads that they sell. And this is um, Tone Gray Mixed Media Board. And grays are really good because they show you uh, true color. And so what I wanted to share with you is I have classes every month and you can get those at onestroke.com where you pay for the lesson, not like YouTube, YouTube is all free, 
But um, I do put long lessons on there too for y'all to see. And this is going to be a lesson, but I want you to see that I just taught this and people loved it. They did theirs purple and white. They did them all kinds of colors. I love blue and white and I love putting like a light yellow behind this. And there's all kinds of colors you can put that are your favorite but blue and white's been popular forever. So what I wanna share with you is how to make a few of these strokes, okay? What is the next Zoom lesson? Okay, the next lesson, let me show you. I am going to paint this. I'm gonna show you how to take a photograph and we're gonna show you how to get, instead of a million little leaves, how you can paint this in two hours. And I'm, we're gonna get dimension with a, with a lamp post and then um, all those small little flowers. Now those classes, this one's Thursday night. And then I'm going to do some really fun other lessons every third, um, the next two Thursday nights and then the uh, last Saturday of February. So depending on when you're watching this, I know it's crazy. Uh, Washington State, thank you. 26 years, Gina. Oh, I remember your name, Gina. Hello. So it's nice. Um, I hope that helps you, Barbara. So get with me. I hope you're feeling better. I know that uh, I've been seeing, I've been following you a little bit on our group. Okay. So you ready? I keep saying that and I'm not going. So let's get going. All right. So I'm going to put you down right here and we're going to do this pad. I told you, let's move up. I just want this to get really good. Um, so you can see my strokes actually, all right? So I'm gonna use a flat brush and I wanna show you, I'm gonna use some metallic and I don't know if it's gonna show up well on here. If it doesn't, we'll pick up some darker colors, but these are treasure gold. Look at this, yummy, yummy, yummy colors. All right, and treasure gold used to be solvent based and this is water based, all right? So I am going to, let's, let's do a couple strokes and see how they're gonna look, okay? So here's going to be a leaf, all right? Uh, I don't know if this is going to show. It shows really good on black, but it's not showing so good on here. All right. Well, it was a thought. So I'm going to go ahead and get some multi-surface paint. I, I usually do it on black, and it really shows it's not showing like I want it to. So we will just change it. All right. So we are going to get some white with this purple. It's a, it's actually, what color is that? It is called purple, purple topaz. All right. So I still want it to work. So Barbara, if you want to sign up for any Zoom, go right on onestroke.com and they're listed there, okay? Black background paintings, make it pop. I know, I just was hoping this gray has been so good. Okay, actually, let me show you real quick. I just did this for relax and paint, all right? So this is on the gray, look how pretty that turned out, all right? All right, that's fun. And this new cute art that I... Uh, I showed, so it's going to be this Wednesday, so check it out. All right, so we're going to take and push down on the chisel and pull. Push and pull, push and pull. Actually, that's going to be this Friday. I'm sorry. That is on practice strokes that, that I just showed you. Sorry. All right. So I just want you to see this, all right? Now, I, I want you to see that I'm pushing and lifting and that kind of looks a little bit more like a fern. So it's got a little bit of metallic with thicket. All right, now you can also do leaves a different way. All right, so look, I want to come and make a line Will you only be using a filbert on this lesson? No, this is a flat. This is a flat brush. This is 12 flat, actually. I do have a liner that I can use, too. Now, look at this. I'm going to push and lift. There's the tip. Push and lift. 
a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. All right, so let's stroke more, like right here. Just grab a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna come here. Now let's do the other side. One, two, now I can lean it and do more of a comma. See how I did that curve a little bit shorter? All right, so that's, if you're having a hard time with my other wiggle leaf, those are kind of a nice stroke. Look, if you don't like something, you just pick up more paint and stroke right over it. All right, so look, it's just kind of nice. I did a little bit darker, went to lighter this when I mixed dark and light. All right, so thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Marina, hello. Are you, you're Spanish, yes? My grandson was on a two-year mission and two of them. One was in Mexico City. Okay, so let's look. I know that white will look good on here, but let's let's put a little bit of this purple taupe has <clears throat> treasure gold. All right, this was a green gold or verde. All right, for there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, my folk art paints are on the dry side so the strokes don't come out clean. Should I be using more floating medium? Yes, if they're dry, but sometimes you're just not working the floating medium in. And sometimes people don't put enough paint. Look how much paint, lots of paint, lots of paint. Oh, I love talking to you guys, thank you. All right, so hello, Miss Patricia, enjoy. All right, so let's look at a chrysanthemum. All right, so I love, I should go get my black tray and show it to y'all. I should have brought it here so you could see. But um, but I will show you this again. Look at the, this chrysanthemum. All right, see them? Here's, they're leaning over. They've got a, like a center. All right, so let's, let's do a couple of backstrokes in the back. So you touch, lean with pressure, and lift. Pressure, lift. And so on the back, I'm coming this way. All right. And then as I come around, I can get bigger. Push, lift, push, lift. Now, what I want you to see is that we've got streaks. All right, streaks. So let's do a, a let's put a center here. Let's put this. Let me see, I've got some purple here. Let's put some purple, violet pansy a little bit right here. All right, in the middle. Oh, it looks kind of light. My lights might be too bright. All right, th there you go. All right, tell your friends that watch. I appreciate you guys very much. Happy got to see you this morning. Well, thank you. Um, relax and paint. I watched them go back and rewatch them. Thank you very much. That was very pretty. Thank you. You inspire me to learn how to paint. I love your method. Thank you very much, honey. All right. So we've got somebody from Indiana, Miss Christina. All right. So Christina's art. Okay. So now look here. I'm going to push and curve around. Push down and curve around over the center. Okay, can y'all see that? All right, is that too bright? Let me come over here a little bit more. There. All right, so let's come around this way. Can you see that? Yeah. And I'm going to keep picking up white. From England, hello. I, I have been on the shopping channel in England. There you go. And London, actually. So see, I've come around and around. So this side curves around this way. The side curves around this way. And right in the middle, that's that purple. 
Let's get a darker purple. Just a little bit darker. There we go. I just want you to see this good. Look, this is where I'm over here grabbing that. All right. I keep grabbing just like that. That's all I do. Okay. Now I can fix that up a little bit. So look, I'm going to go back here so I, I fix where I grabbed it. Singapore, hello. And do a workshop. I would love to. Let's get this coronavirus out of here. Find a one-stroke surfing painter here. Oh, well, we, I have to tell you, I've gone to Taiwan, Taiwan and Japan and other countries and taught big groups. So it'd be fun to come there. All right. So push left, push left. Now watch this. As I'm coming around, I'm going to start enlarging. Uh, okay. Thank you, Singh. All right. So let's bring a few out here. All right, let's bring a few more out here. Okay, so these are supposed to kind of be, I'm going to bring a few more back there so it stands out a little bit more. All right, so now watch what happens here. I'm going to Yes. All right. So I'm going to, we just had a convention in Florida. We were about a fourth of the size that we usually have, but we had it anyway, because we were safe in Florida right now doing the distancing and we all wore masks and face shields and we just had a great time. And we're having another one in Florida in September. So, and I do do some workshops that you guys can attend and I do them uh, on YouTube, on live, not on YouTube, on Zoom. We do Zoom. Okay. This is a 12 flat. I need to probably keep reminding you because people keep coming in at different times. This is a 12 flat, just a plain look, just a 12 flat, one of my brushes. My 12s are different. Mine are slender which means a little bit less bristles and a little bit longer. So uh, I'm not using a round or a filbert. You can, but I can control more and I get more streaks. The top of my petals are thin. I'm having trouble making them thick on top and thin on the bottom. Can you please go over? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is the thing. This is what happens. When you have a new brush, uh, let me show you over here. When you're using um, a real crisp uh, brush in the beginning, all right, there, I, I guess a point and then it gets big like this kind of, it kind of is a point. This is not a great brush. I'm sorry, it's well used. All right, so I want you to push and then lift. All right, so push and then lift. Let me show you with the green. I think it might show up better. Okay. Yes, this was a flower of the month. It was a chrysanthemum. Push and lift. So it has to be pressure. See, I can do it thin or I can put pressure. All right, so that's a good tip I want to tell you on if you go to plaid, P-L-A-I-D, or Donna Dewberry with plaid crafts, I have free videos here on YouTube, and I have flowers of the month every month of the year, the flowers, then I did wreaths of the month, and you can still get those. I also now... I'm doing hometown and I have some beautiful roses I just did. Now see how big those are? So come join me there and make sure you tell them that you like them. I like the paint company to know that you guys are happy I'm on there. Okay. So those are done by Plaid, the paint company. Okay. Plaid. All right. So it's folk art paint. 
So see the two layers? Now, can you see I got my circle going here? All right. You're using new brushes. That's what it is. So you have to push a little bit harder. Okay. I don't know if I have a brand new brush right here. I can show you. But um, at first, they're kind of stiff. So you have to... Oh, here's one. Here. Okay. So I've got a new one. All right. So I'm going to put it in water. Lay it on the paper towel. Then I'm going to pick up the color, work it in really good, lots of paint, okay? All right, so when I first do it, I'm going to push, all right, let me show you over here. Let's use the lavender up. Okay, so when I first do it and I push, see, it doesn't do it full. So here's a little trick. If you lay it on the white corner, can you see that? Yeah, let me do it this way. Push hard on the white and lean forward a little bit. So I take the handle from back to forward. And then when I pick up, so push, lean, lift, lean, lift. So try that. That might help you. Okay, so now I'm going to come right in here. And I'm going to do little short strokes to make this a little bit more round, okay? Thank you for coming on, guys. You love hometown? Thank you. I'm so happy. Hello from India. Hello. I've seen you before, too. All right, so I'm coming right around here. And I'm going to come all in here and put some little strokes. Little strokes. You see how I'm short? I'm not pushing down on the brush. All right. Okay, so we're going to push, push, push. And see now I have that gap in there. So just keep coming in here from the side and from this side. So it's the same little stroke over and over, guys. So now the important thing when you're doing this all I want you to see is how, see, it's the same stroke over and over and over and over. So what do you need to learn from me? You need to learn how to lay it out to get your design. All right. So, so, so I'm going to put some purple over here. All right. And just let's do a side view. All right. I'm wiping off that purple a little bit. Um, if you just got on, you might not know I was hoping to do some metallic colors, but they're not showing up on my gray. I needed black. All right, so I'm gonna come up here and do a little taller. Up here, up here. Okay. And I, I want a side view kind of. So see how I'm getting my shape? Okay, so I, every time I leave, I'm going over here and getting paint. All right, so I'm going to come right in here and there and there. Okay, see those streaks? I like those streaks that are showing. So look at this. See all the streaks in there? That's a good thing. All right, hello. Uh, oh, 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 I'm not on. There we are. So I'm going to keep coming in here and you have to have lots of paint. See the paint, there's ridges, there's so much paint. All right, so we come here, here. Now I have some that lay over a little bit. Do you see that out here? Push, lift, push, lift. Okay. Are you guys happy? Are you liking it? My problem is loading my brush. I listen to your voice and paint along with you. Thank you. This uh, hi. Sri Lanka. Yeah, thank you. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so. Uh, so I want you to see how much paint I have on this brush. See, lots and lots of paint. That's what makes it better. Thank you, Gina. 
I have, I just hit something like 8 million views um, and likes on TikTok. So even the youth like it, right? My grandson says, please let me do TikTok with you. So I do put some of them on Instagram so you can see. Um, it's kind of fun to watch in a fast motion, right? All right. So, and to music. Some people say, some of those you say, I fall asleep listening to you and watching you. Okay, at night. Here you go. Isn't that kind of fun doing a, a piece of one? Okay. So now, all right, I really appreciate your comment and encouraging your voice. Oh, you you don't like it when it's musical only. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I want maybe you let me go. I'll take a second and go grab my tray. I forgot to bring the tray. I really want you to see that. Um, while you're looking at that, maybe you could look at this too and see detail. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've never done that on here, so don't be mad at me for running away. <laughs> All right, so um, I want to show you. Sorry, I've got dust on it. All right, now this is one of the first ones I did. Okay, so I want you to see how that pops. All right, this is just yellow ochre and white, um, yellow ochre and white, and then this is more white with the yellow ochre, and then. I have metallic gold for all these little leaves that are added here. You uh, a tulip also. You want to learn? Yes. I'm doing magic. Okay. Uh, Connie, you're from New Mexico. Hello, hello. All right, so let me show you. <clears throat> So do you like it on the black? I just wanted to show. I always love this tray I found. And so I've had it for years, but it's the first time. Um, yeah, you paint in the middle of a tray from Dollar Tree. Yes. <clears throat> so what I do, I get those Dollar Tree trays and uh, I'll do a hydrangea, I mean a uh, hibiscus. And I spray them with uh, flat black or flat white. And then I do paintings and then I seal them. And um, they, I used to sell lots of trays doing that. I go to, to garage sales, but we don't have those right now. <laughs> I go to, go to garage sales and I um, um, get old silver pitted trays that are heavy. So when you spray those and you paint those, they, they've got weight and people love them. Okay. You like, huh? So see, let me see. There's too much shine on here. Uh, okay. I want you to see there's a cute little back one and then here's kind of one like I did and here's one with strokes. This is a tall one and then little teeny buds. Okay. So thank you for letting me grab that. Same thing happens here. There's all kinds of leaves that aren't stroke on here, but I'm doing a lot of stroke leaves. Okay. So I can try to do this into a tulip, what do you think? You want to try? All right, so if y'all are game for it, let's pick up a little bit more with some violet pansy, a little bit of violet pansy. Okay, I'm gonna put a lot of green in here soon, okay? Well, let's just make this tulip kind of hang, like it's coming down. So we can do a couple long strokes there a couple of long strokes here. All right, let's put this one back on it. Okay, so we're gonna come here again. And here, all right. Oh, I'm too far away, why don't y'all tell me? Okay, so we're gonna come here and come here. So what you would do is make, you put enough strokes that it looks like one stroke like one petal, I mean. So if I come here and here and here with that same stroke, 
it looks like one petal. All right. And I also like to add some that are curving or some that have fallen. So if I make multiple strokes there. So what you're doing is kind of doing the same strokes, but you're just hanging them in different ways. All right, so to make this kind of go in, we'll put a little bit of purple in there, okay? So it shades it a little bit. All right, so let's get, let's go over here and get some of the, I wipe that paint off, you don't need to wash it. So we're going to grab this little guy here. You like that? See, so grab it and then you pull him in. Okay, are y'all liking it? It's very relaxing. That's a good thing. Wants more dab blue flowers. What? Please, wants more dab blue flowers. Mm, not sure what you're asking for, honey. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to push, push down and lift. Now those are long slender ones, all right? So one slender and another one and another one. So these are like scrolls that you, that you can do like that. So what I wanna do, um, thank you for being on today. Thank you for the likes. And you do one, two, three, All right. All right, so I have a little fern down here, like the fern up there, and there is metallic in that. I'm using the treasure gold, and it's a water-based treasure gold with some regular thicket. Okay. And so we want to fill this arrangement. Once when you're on QVC, you wore a black, a pair of black jeans and scroll work. Yes, just like that. And they were sparkly. Uh, all right. So we did a lot of scrolls like this and I used gold paint. And then, so I, I did them just like this because denim and, and fabric, it's hard to do a wiggle stroke, all right? So I do a lot of stroke work like this. And so what I did was, here is a comma. Let's do another comma and another one. And I would do those strokes out of metallic gold. And then I added a little liner work with licorice or glitter and added those on there, okay? so. So this is the first thing. Let me show you a really fun comma stroke. All right, let's get it straight so y'all can see it. All right, see, doesn't that look like a little tulip down there? All right. I have many metallic paints. I want to try paint, try paint pouring, but not sure I'll do it. The pouring is really easy and really fun. And we have a great pouring medium at Plaid and at the paint company. And it makes it really easy for you to do. And I love it when they use the blow dryer and blow it too. Okay, so I want you to see that I can now use my liner, all right? And I'm gonna take this, all right, and roll it in the paint, the two script liner. So all of this is a 12 flat. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. And then I want you to see that we are going to make a circle and come down. All right. We can also make little tips inside of this. Like over here, let's show you this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. All right. I can do little ones in here. So look what happens if you take and let's add some of these in here. 
right along here. I can do them on both sides. And they nestle in with each other. Okay. Thank you. I'm, you're going to rewatch it. I appreciate you do that. I like to combine paint, pouring, and then I like painting uh, flowers on top. Uh, I do use, that's the only time I use water is on the script liner. Okay, so we're going to take, and I'm sorry I can't read everything people are writing, but I love it that you're on with me today and a great way for me to start my morning. I live in Florida, so this is still morning for me. And I'm in the Orlando area. And we have a studio here. If you ever come to Florida, we are like 45 minutes from the airport. So you have to come see us. Okay, so if we go, one, this is just a two script liner and I can do scrolls. See that? 10 set of brushes. I'm excited to use them. Well, thank you, Gina. You're going to like them, I promise. They, it's a night and day difference if you're trying to do my technique, if you use my brushes. You can make do with other brushes, but when you use my brushes, they do what I do so you can feel it. You can say, oh my gosh, that's why this is working. There is a difference. All right. So I thought I had some gold right here so I could show you, but I'm going to end this up. And I'm thrilled to have you guys on. And let's see, they are good. They do make it different. Uh, they make a huge difference, guys, I promise, if you get my brushes. The value pack are less, they're usually less than $16 for 10 brushes, and they're quality brushes. And I promise you, you'll like it. Um, so let me show you before I go. That we, one of the other brushes, we have a filbert around all kinds of brushes and my 13 brush set, which my signature brushes. And I want just, here's a round brush and I can just pick up and make a little white butterfly. Okay. So here is the head. So I'm going to put the head there first. You want a butterfly? Let me see some hearts if you want a butterfly. <laughs> I like to tease you guys. I bet you do want to see one, right? Um, I don't know if they let you put hearts on here. Can yes, Anita, just put a heart. Thank you, Anita. That's so sweet. I I've had um a set for years. See, thank you, thank you, Karen. There's my hearts. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. Four. Okay, this is getting a point. I don't want a point. Okay, so I'm going to push it down. All right, so that's the top wing. All right. All right, this is, if y'all haven't used it before, this is Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. And it paints on multi multiple surfaces. And it's got a sealer in it. You can paint on glass, metal, ceramic. Okay, all right, I'm gonna push down and lift and push down and lift. Those are the bottom two wings, all right? So I'm gonna try this again over here and we're gonna have two butterflies up there, let's see. So let's try a taller wing and then it gets shorter and shorter and shorter, all right? I'm gonna do two different types and we'll see. Here's the bottom wing. Okay, now I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. Same kind of strokes. So I'm going to go back to my liner. Are you interested? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda, for sharing that. Um, all right. I like the hearts. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of water with my two script liner and make it inky. All right, that's the only time I use water. Only time I use water. If you, you're going to use floating medium, look, floating medium, no water, okay? And that's what makes this uh, move for you. Here it is. See, this is a new bottle, floating medium. 
this reverse, I'm sorry. Okay, now here's the body. Let's get right here so you see it good, right? All right, are you with me? Thank you for the hearts. Greetings from Italy. Love you guys over there. I've got so many instructors over there. I love hearing from you guys. All right, so watch. I push down and then I lift my brush up. That's all you do. You push down for the body and then you lift. And my little finger lifts me. All right, so then we want the antennas. So what we do with the antennas, I'm going to get it up here so you can see, is I only touch the tip. So I touch the tip, and I come over, and I touch the tip, and I come over. All right? So we have two little antennas. That's just my little signature butterfly. Touch and lift up and over. I have recipe cards. They're not for food. They're recipes for perfect strokes. And if you go to onestroke.com, there are worksheets that are half sizes. And I have a whole one on nothing but butterflies. And I also have one a video, which is called Stroke Study. And it's all insects and butterflies on onestroke.com. So it's a lesson that's three hours and it, it goes over and over every kind of butterfly I've ever painted and more butterflies, more detail. So there's butterflies, bumblebees, um, dragonflies, and ladybugs. So go check it out. All right. So did y'all like this? <laughs> I'm excited to share with you. And I hope that you can tell your friends to come watch. When I come on and do a, a live, I... I love it because I get to talk to you guys and see how you're doing. I, I'm so glad after all these years that you still teach. Yes, yeah, so you know what? Um, the pandemic has brought me back and I want to cry, but when we're stuck at home and I, I am a real positive person when I wake up in the morning, the world's wonderful. But being closed in my house, I felt comfort and warmth in my house, but I didn't feel my friends and my painters and so I decided to start going on YouTube and so that's what's you know got me out this year we had a hundred thousand viewers I mean subscribers thank you thank you so much for subscribing please subscribe if you haven't and ring the little bell there's a place that you can click to get notified when I when I pop on um, I am for sure on on Wednesdays and Fridays but then I pop on like this and this um, YouTube has saved me and I hope it helps you when you're closed in and you can't get out and there's, listen, when I had seven children and I didn't have the money or the ability to go to painting lessons, I swore that if I ever got a chance that I would just teach, teach you anything that you wanted to learn. And it has blessed me. It has blessed me. And you know what, whether I'm feeling good or not, whether my hair is bad or not, I'm going to get on and just paint a little bit with you to lift my day. So I hope it lifts yours. Thank you so much. Please, please share our channel with other people so that we can keep growing. Um, so the more my husband sees it positive from the YouTube, the more he lets uh, or encourages me to be on. So thank you. Love you. This is a different lesson. I hope you liked it. Just a little bit different than normal. But it's it can be rich, dark, beautiful colors, dark, dark, bright, you know, rich colors. I love lavenders and deep purples and and Juneberry, a new color named Juneberry. Uh, I made your morning. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> Thank you. All righty. Have a good one. Bye bye.